Well, oh, Abrams gets the high ground and knows that the T-62 is about to show right here. And there you go. Right in the middle of the bushes. Takes the first shot and he tracks them. T-62 turning about 180 degrees. Completely taken by surprise. Try to right himself. You can see M1A1 gets a second shot off before the T-62 even realizes what's going on. Hey guys, Moidog here, and today we've got another episode of Eye in the Sky, where we take a look at a game of squad from the top down, and in this one, we have the US Marine Corps up against irregular militia. This is Gordok Ras V8, and although militia have been buffed recently, the Marines are an extremely good matchup for this new faction. Due to their heavy duty AAVs, which can honestly take quite a lot of firepower just to disable, as well as the quickly moving Humvees and LAV-25s. But what's always going to win your games, no matter the faction, is communication. The squad leader chat was fantastic, the team worked together to both attack and defend, and it was just a textbook game of squads, so I hope you guys enjoy. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and drop me a comment below with a map, game mode, or faction you'd like to see in the next one. And don't forget to check out the live streams over at twitch.tv slash moidog, where I stream every weekday. But that's it for me. Until next time, peace. Alright, eye in the sky... And we are on Goro, Gorodok, Ras V8. Uh, so this is one of the new layer, I guess. Well, technically what? It's May? Man, time flies when you're busy with kids and oh my God, I'm 33. I had knee surgery. It's, there's a lot going on. Anyway, uh, I would say newer layers, Gordok Ras V8 is actually the USMC up against uh, IMF or a, I guess, irregular, irregular militia forces. It's the new designation uh, that squad has been trying to do. Uh, short name, so Russia is no longer just Russia. R-U-S in game, it's Russian ground forces. Uh, regular militia is IMF. So we have uh, USMC, we're on board with them. And we have a couple Lodges. We have the AAVC, which is the amphibious uh, Lodge for the Marines as well. Um, a transport that spawns in in a couple minutes. A couple of the open door Humvees, as well as the uh, closed uh, Humvees. A Lav-25, that is one of the big guns that they have uh, right out the gate. A um, couple more AVPs, and then the M1A1 main battle tank that spawns in in just over 11 minutes. And they will be getting a helicopter uh, in six or seven. So they will not have any way to just rush up to the point. Uh, and get pretty much a uh, uh, early backup fob um, right from the gate, which is good because they're up against the unconventional faction of regular militia who have a couple of little pickup lodges, an armored big boy lodge with the Ural, a couple of transports that are also armored, a BRDM scout car. This is going to be huge. You can actually, with this one scout car, you can actually take out a LAV-25 if you get a good jump on it. A um, couple uh, Dishkatekis, BTR-80s as well, two of them. Uh, BMP-1, which has that Malyutka, uh, so they, they do have, compared to uh, Marines, they do have an ATGM vehicle right out the gate. Uh, T-62, uh, the Ural ZU-23, so it's uh, just a truck with the uh, anti-aircraft on it. And then the BM-21 Grad, which I think should be spawning in around when the uh, tank is up, as well as a couple SPGs. So... We are pushing in from Desna, Solniki Lower, Solniki Ruins, Gas Station, Boris Farmstead, Neva Radio Tower, all the way up to Akeem Central. This is a giant map, and this looks like, at least from, uh, I, I, I think I've had it muted, if you're watching this on the YouTubes, uh, I've had it muted, but the command chatter on uh, the U.S. Marine Corps side has actually been really, really good. We can see a lot of markers down, and the Marine command structure is actually just really communicating and i'm hoping i don't know what's going on with the uh the regular militia forces right now but the marine corps actually seem like they know what's going i keep chat civil i'm guessing maybe on the, uh militia forces we aren't getting some civil chat so we'll see uh, a couple lodges getting stuck up on the rocks for militia and it looks like squad three, a full lodgy going to bat cap at Keem Central. This is RAS, by the way. Ran events to yeah, secure. No, 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 so no Desna. Yeah, so I'm going to get a rep station probably on the south end here. I just want to see where the point goes first. But yeah, I have that piece of shit lodgy pulling up the back to get that rep station down. 
There you go here on command chat. They got a full back cap, maybe get a repair station as well set up on Desna yeah, as we care. have the uh, squad five with Apple Senpai and Commander of War with the LAV 25. And looks like they're going to be trying to hold this road into gas station industrial as we have a big old flank of Rooney uh, coming up with the SPG. They just want to hold that flank. Make sure that the LAV doesn't, uh, 25 doesn't come in. It's actually really interesting. Uh, Goro is one of the, the larger maps in squad. Andrew, thank you for stopping. Uh, the whole east side is actually in play. Nothing uh, on the west side. I mean, apart from Desna, but that's really close to Maine. So nothing in the west right now. Uh, and I think that's going to really play in the hands of U.S. Marines right now because their their main route... It, it, the typically the typical rollout, no matter where the points are, you're always going to push gas station. And now we're actually getting one, two, three, four points if you secure gas station and compared to the three for a regular militia. So a uh, really favorable start for Seven, you the Marines. Like and there you go. Got it. Yeah, we'll move to the next one. We have taken yeah, it'll be like Pavlov's. Or, why don't you head over to gas Marine. station for? There you, that is a fantastic call. Saying four, why don't you head over to gas station? Command, you can see on the map just now, a couple of those marks are fo uh, folding back into Soul Ninky lower, and you are going to have a fantastic setup. I, I'm actually kind of nervous for uh, militia right now because this Marine team seems like they are just on it. Copy. Good comms, patient setup. Squad four was actually called back. This typically doesn't happen in just random pickup matches. Squad four was pushing up this road. You see all the Humvee, actually a fleet of Humvees. Hope you can see them. Yeah, the, the fleet of Humvees. Usually, you know, if squad four is up here and moving around, they're going to just yeah, hold down uh, W, just shift into the point and set something up here. Four actually is falling back from their forward position and redirecting towards gas station. This fob marker is, is for squad four. So the teamwork actually happening as militia pushing into radio station and one of the more patient uh, teamwork oriented setups that I've seen in a very long time. So I'm hoping uh, militia, <laughs> I'm thinking that keep chat civil mark earlier was towards them because it's been pretty civil on the Marine uh, side. So Hopefully we get a good fight here and it's not going to be a fight stomp. Out here. I just want to let you guys know I love you. Love you too, Skeleton. And out to the west. I have some feelings about you too, sir. <laughs> We're going to uh, see I, I the Humvees might just miss each other here <laughs> as we <laughs> have SPG Techie and game. Adishka Armored Techie. It's all right, though. We're getting along actually going to get now, right uh, in the <laughs> middle <laughs> of the entire team here. 90% on Soliniki. 90% on Solniki. They're going to see Solniki ruins right below them and the favorable USMC push. Oh, I've got that. Keep moving. Yep. There you go. I'm loving these command chat. Are you kidding me? And then squad three. This is really good here. Squad three knows that it's not unlikely that the point uh, comes up into, what is it, grain? Uh, so they're dropping a rally just in case they, they get up in it here and they can reset and push in with these Humvees. On these might, if they right, take seven. a right turn, they might see grain processing, and they do. BRDM moving left to right. They should see it. He's dialing it in we with the, the 50, and he's going to light it up. Oh, BRDM turns. Unfortunately, that's going to be a catastrophic decision. If he just kept driving down the road, he might have actually gotten away with it, and that's just a YOLO. Law, and that is a second smoke. So unfortunately, that I uh, think that might be the bad decision. Part two, you don't want to double smoke when you are really hurting here, because if you keep that smoke up, these Humvees are open top, and you'd be able to use your 12.7, or I guess uh, what 14 and a half they have. You can see a little bit here, 50s. Finish it off, and there you go. That is not what you want to see. If you are a regular militia, and you saw they had a hat kit right behind him, so. Really fantastic push by the Humvees. Medics and <laughs> trying to get him up here. But that is well worth it. Five tickets down, but more importantly, that is a big vehicle to go down. And Soul Ninky Ruins being captured. Gas station is being set up by four. They don't realize that it's going to be a cap, but now they do. Just bang, bang here.
You love to see it. And squad 13. Are they seriously? They're all the way up to squad 13. Holy crap. They must have a lot of one man squads. A squad 13 headed towards Boris so to push north of gas. Farmstead. Okay, you're already there, dude. dude. Fuck it. They can fuck it. Already ahead of me, buddy. And USMC, they are just jiving. BTR 80 about to come up. And try to get a nice little trade here. Lose the BRDM, but hey, you might just wipe them. BTR 80 is going to turn the corner. He turns the wrong corner. Oh, are they not? Oh, I think they missed him. No way. BTR 80 is now looks like he's trying to do a loop de loop. Turn around and they might just have dialed it in. Seen the Humvees turn around and we got bumper cars in the middle of the field. Humvees, gunners turning every which way. Beats your 80, might actually get the jump on them. No, they keep bumping into each other. What are you, eyes front, soldiers? Well, it's not soldiers, sorry, Marines. I, I, don't worry, I caught myself. Marines, not soldiers. And beats your 80. You see helmet markers now on the, the screen here, at least the map, BTR 80, moving right to left. Nobody sees it, BTR doesn't even see him. I don't know if we have any build left. If we want to get uh, another half to the east of Boris, is be plush. How are they not seeing Sorry, him? Right is this camo me. actually working? Or maybe they're doing a big old flank here. Oh, they're going for the flank. That's going to be side armor on the BTR. BTR you? is dialing in though as I well. They're looking at each other going head first. It's a game of chicken now. And there it goes. BTR opens up and knocks out the gunner, immediately destroys the Humvee. And I do not know why the entire time these Humvees have been working in tandem. And instead of working in tandem, one of them just completely bailed on the other. And this Humvee uh, <laughs> ambush has just turned into a pickoff. The second one went to fall back. No idea why. If I am skeleton, I am yelling at my second squad here. Or second half of my squad because... That would have been an easy, easy pickoff with two 50s tearing into the lightly armored BTR-80. And, well, that's just enough of a save. We're at 354 tickets for the USMC, and that's really just because they've... Oh, I was going to say captured a bit more, but it's one, two, really three, four. Yes, it is. Uh, PG, two tickets high. right now to four. Or there. two uh, uh, captures to four. Right and down here, it looks like we got a uh, squad eight with the SPG techie did a nice little ambush earlier. And Command, we're coming up to help you guys with this hab. Copy. There's an enemy foot mobiles just north of us. Enemy foot mobiles, also known as infantry. What a day. Pushing infantry? up on the rocks. <laughs> infantry? There you go. Nick James up on the rocks gets absolutely slapped oh, by Skull Thrasher. Four, and here you go, Zest Daddy and Nightmare. They're in the shadows. Zest Daddy's still down. Oh, Pineapple gets headshot. Nice shot by, I think, Duck or LSX here. Let's turn on our... Whoop, not that. Let's turn on our outlines. There you go. LSX gets full auto. Duck trying to duck behind the rock here. Now you have the LAV-25 supporting the infantry on the rocks. Yep. Grenade going off, and you see the whole stream of blue That's in the cheeky. right side of our screen they're pushing into the smoke that is the actual capture zone of boris farmstead i turn on for you right here that dome spc jar looks like the only forward position uh positioned foot mobile <laughs> for a regular militia and that actually is going oh what a catastrophic this is i'm command telling you guys y'all need to stop command being lazy because that Lodgy is right next to their radio. And hold on a second. LAV-25 might not see this. But you have Enemies all over the north side of Boris. A, BMP, a BMP pushing up in just a second here. Think right down this alleyway. Also known as a road. There you go. There's an enemy half dead north of Boris's. Gotcha. Should be ships. able to see cap. it. There you go. Wow, I can't even we see that's a good camera right here. Like Big Chungus Delta York actually in the, the BMP, and there it is. So Malyutka comes now. in and smacks the front. Oh, and there he goes. Easy as that. LAV 25. Not nearly enough armor to deal with the Malyutka and BMP. Easy, easy deletion.
What a huge play and a regular militia, despite being back on caps, looks like they're now going to be able hey, to Moidog. take. What? What? Why? What? What? Why are you talking to me? Moidog. What's up? We're losing our hab on J9 as well. What's up? Evan, if you're okay. talking, I can't hear you, buddy. You Hello? Yes, I can hear you now. Hello? Are, the, are they still doing the fucking camp in the main road shit? I don't know if that's allowed or not, but they're camping our fucking lodge entrance. I don't see any main Order camping. One, <laughs> Just to confirm, are you they saying you're not tank. on the main or they're killing the lodge? He's on the road in. Is it not intent based? I am opening the map and not seeing anyone main camping. Okay. All right. Now, now do I have to I'll go just the guys that they can camp the main road in here off the point. I'm gonna try to remember the lot. Really that's not main. That's like SR literally in the middle of like four different flags there, dude. This, yeah, th this intersection yeah, where you guys get wrecked. That is one million percent fair game. Okay. Oh, I, this is. What? You're calling this main camping? Bro, is it one, two, three, four? Maybe literally, the intersection of no, I'm sorry. Tom, I'm. Down here in a no. no, 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 no. I ain't. No. Yeah, I'm do saying you can do that. That's 100% you can do that. Down, can do that. <laughs> That's a fantastic ambush point. Uh, this intersection uh, is a linchpin uh, of a regular uh, militia. And they've just no, we nailed it. This is how you on. control Lodgy okay. routes. Uh, no, none of this literally uh, yeah, knocking out people right when they uh, exit main. This is a fantastic ambush and positional setup from a regular militia. And whichever squad had decided to do this looks like squad eight. This is fantastic. That That is really, really well done. Never, never should punish that. There's some sort of big pushing. 100% yeah, done to well. Up, oh, and hold on a second. Pardon the quick camera movement because we have yeah, our BTR, BTR 80. That just gives us a chance to set up on Boris. Might have just seen the Lodgy off to his front right, hiding in the trees. BTR 80, is he going to miss it? He, oh, you should see it left to right. No. Oh, they actually miss it. Command squad does manage to save the Lodgy. And that's more so Here's on a miss by a regular militia. Wow, unbelievably lucky here. And speaking of lucky, looks like they went... Oh, that must have been a regular militia mines because they went completely around it. So, uh, while this has been going on, we are getting... It looks like a grad rocket barrage on the point. There you go. Rockets coming in, and he's only doing a few. Oh my goodness! Wet sticky bandit takes a grad straight to the chest. And just a few little rockets at a time. Usually, you want to just level it all in one go. Not choosing to do that. And hold on a second. Squad eight deletes the Dishka techie that was holding this main road here. So, uh, looks like. P62 is going to be eh, probably about five or six minutes until he's he's up in it, but it is now all on yeah, Boris's farmstead. And despite uh, USMC capturing it earlier, they did did not have the support. You can see they captured it and went all the way off the point, all the way up towards radio. And now you have almost half the team stuck in no man's land. We're at 302 tickets, 301 now for the Marines, 264 for a regular militia, but they're going to get that right back here with a fantastic cap. And now they're going to have the momentum and push, push in. Like this. They're not going to be able to do that. I'd be extremely uh, surprised. Right. BTR 80, uh, there is a fob up. right up the road here. We're going to turn off the outlines for just a second because with this weather and their camo, you can just see how difficult uh, it is. I mean, they've already missed a, a vehicle. Seven, is there any but you can, the, the, the marine camo is just fantastic in this weather. I don't think we're gonna All the shadows, it, it's almost like if you've uh, ever played don't Goose Bay or even uh, Scorpo with Russian camo, it is almost invisible. And there is an entire... You can see, <laughs> you can see a whole, whole damn team over there. You, you can't even see it. So... 
turn this on and now btr 80 not the strongest of vehicles but right now if you're being if you're using it well oh and if you have both miss both it looks like a law and an at4 both miss one from the front and one from its back right btr 80 being a little bit more devastating than it really should be and you got marines laying in wait now in the shadows btr 80 trying to stay mobile doesn't matter takes a hit straight to the engine and this is the wrong move you do not smoke instantly you are now causing the infantry to push up and we're going to show it right here you can see in the outlines infantry are able to push up <laughs> and, okay and then take a uh, you know <laughs> round straight to the face as right through the smoke M1A1 pops it fantastic kill BTR80 takes out a few infantry but he is dead in the water from AT good armor play to mop it up as a little bit risky play does not pay off for a regular militia well done and this might be just enough to hold on to uh i guess the position they're going to lose the cap cap is about to go down and militia is going to get some points back or tickets back rather uh but uh, militia i don't now at this point you had enough enough of the team uh floated back that they should be able to cap it and i want to take a look here this is an irregular militia fob and wow fantastic so infantry push here turn this around and there you go this is nearly textbook as viper and god's therapist one of the few uh militia left up on the objective skeleton and his squad squad three pushing in viper gets taken out skeleton goes down as well and now it's a trade here there you go fantastic infantry push and polo psycho and oreo pancakes which sounds freaking delicious right now take the hab you just have zest daddy 69 the only one left who can try to do something about it now there is a radio you see that hourglass mark the red hourglass i'm not sitting your screen is that radio i'm not sure exactly where it is right now the marines but they can at least disable this fob if they disable this hab uh, Marines now have a fantastic position to push into Farmstead, take it back. And you now have Squad 7 with pockets taking down the radio at radio. So you're going to get bang, bang, play, take out the fob, remove the pressure at Boris Farmstead, take it for yourself, and you are all set up on radio. The dominoes are starting to fall for the Marines. 286 tickets for the Marines, 296 for irregular militia, but some fantastic infantry plays on both the main road to knock out the BTR, as well as to do the big old flank or Rooney and take out the attack fob at Boris might just completely change it here. Has to see if Trill's OG has anything to say about it. Let's see what he's got. Free tickets. That is nice. Little AK. It's just chilling there. It's free tickets for us. Trying to do too much. Just or not, the sleep, anti -air truck. see if you got any infantry. Uh, yeah, just wander out of the vehicle. Try to take a shot. Here's the uh, burst fire to his right. And he, did, Apple Senpai did take out Ruffle earlier. And hold on, Trills. Oh, nearly. Apple Senpai was actually in the vehicle earlier. Apple Senpai gets jumped, but he manages to flip it on him trills unfortunately wow not sure if he had it on semi or not but that should have been a full auto a wipe of apple here and militia probing the marine fob but unable to do much and here you go this is what we we're just talking about marines able to take out the fob Two, two, uh, shoot yeah, radio tower. two shoot radio tower, just go. Hey, firm. And there might be a T62 in the background. Yeah, they're calling out the T62, and hold on a second. There We're going to do a quick camera movement because we got a tank fight about to happen. I got to go back and repair. I just took a lat round on Solenanke. Yeah, figures. 
Our yeah, they're trying to they're trying to take out our house, our house behind us. Can we Abrams the to the right of your screen here. I think they just oh, Abrams down on gets the high ground and knows that the T-62 is about to Take show right, right here. Now. And there you go. Right in the middle of the bushes. Takes the first Damn. shot and he tracks them. T-62 turning about 180 degrees. Completely taken by surprise. Try to right himself. You can see M1A1 gets a second shot off before the T-62 even realizes what's going on. One shot does pin through the Abrams, but I don't think that's going to matter. This last one might just be enough. Not quite. Ooh, might have gotten a little left. Trying to hit that Amorak, and oh my goodness, the T-62 is still in it somehow. Abrams, he, he's missing. Abrams is missing the shots off just a little left. And there it is. Unbelievable. T-62, not gonna lie, nearly pulls it out out of a couple misplays by the Abrams. Really shouldn't have been nearly as close as they made it. Credit to the T-62 crew. Uh, and well, at the end of it, GG to the Abrams. And there you go, Abrams. Is it. now going to be pushing there, out. Pushing I don't know what it is, but like gas once they they repair, they're going to be kind of good to go. The only real it's threat on the battlefield right now is we have a BTR. Well, I think is right below us exactly. actually. Oh, he's pushing right through the the uh, the forest here. As BTR eighty, and hey, this is what we're talking about earlier, yeah, Marines. Finally, ooh, well. looks like have they not seen the? Oh, there they go. Radio was spotted. So Shady Goldfish is destroying the radio. That is the attack bob. Oh, hold on a second. Oh my goodness, so many AT just pushing right. BTR has to smoke immediately, and they have just walked into a hornet's nest of Marines. Turn on our outline so we can see him through the smoke. BTR is has just aggroed the whole damn. Uh, army, it feels like. Well, army? Sorry. Marines? Battalion? Squad 4, is there any build supplies in your laundry? No, unfortunately. And the, he's going to, unfortunately, back there. himself up and get stuck in some trees. And I think we have some AT nearby. Yep. Right to our... I think right here, you got Dandy. Dandy should have an AT4. AT4 into the side of it. We'll deal with the BTR-80 for good. Oh, well, it looks like Law, actually. Law. Doesn't matter. Law, AT4 the, uh, at that health. BTR-80. Really just a complete misplay. You don't do that when you've lost complete secure, uh, complete uh, control over the objective. If this BTR had come in earlier when they were still fighting over Boris Farmstead, when we were still contesting the Hab, that might have been good. Nice little flank and redirection, but literally nothing uh, to save the BTR and one of the worst areas as well. The BTR we saw earlier was having a nice little... Uh, until, you know, he, he got hit by almost everything in the area. He was having a nice little push and, and play around the road, but that's because he had plenty of areas, uh, plenty of, uh, I guess, directions to move around. When you're in this tree, tree line, this forest, the rocks, there's really no place to go, and you're giving a lot of cover to the infantry. Just really, really poor decision-making, and it cost a regular militia. 324 tickets now for... Uh, the the Marines and 190, well, going to be 170 to soon once this radio to go. goes uh, for a regular militia. To, uh, and it's all coming together for the Marines. The bang bang yeah, for Boris the radio so play two, is in two, full effect. And, uh, drop you off. Copy, I just gotta grab, uh, and we're Absolute. trying to see. Hold on a second. Looks like. Yeah, that's what I was going to do. Is there a rough build? Oh, yeah. Yeah. This is Grad Rockets actually landing on radio. And not not a bad... They could have gotten so much more value with that Grad. Yeah, you really need to just send it. These Grads, you know, it's you it's not an done. accurate weapon, right? So this Grad, you can see he's just hitting a, a couple... Oh, shit, there he is. We'll see the Rockets land in just a second, but it's only oh, one or two at a time. And now they're off to our yeah, our right, so completely I'm missing the drops, objective. Just you really up. just need to unload. And they're they're about dialed in. The spread is going to be a little to our right, to our little of our left. 
And radio is now going to be all in it. Eight, sir. I'm taking all this build. There, you see that? I mean, that is such a huge variation in the shells landing. But not going to do too much. You even have pockets. He's been up there digging. <laughs> Getting that MG bunker up. Yeah, not even worrying three, about the grads. Uh, taking a lot. You'll come pick you up. I just have to repair it quick. Can I take it down? They sound great though. They just you need to send them all at oh, <laughs> once. So uh grad rockets. Oh my, I want to I don't want to say they're wasting their ammo, but they're kind of wasting their ammo. Heli is busy um, I can drop some off after I drop three. Doc, water, gunner, still trying to disrupt Lodgy around this main road, which is between a few objectives. You have an AAV, which has been abandoned over at Soloniki Lower. It's kind of a, a big loss. And Looks like the grad, I think, has tagged a little bit of the hab. They're just digging it back up right now. Oh, what a shot. See, that's what you need. That one grad just knocked out two infantry and smacked the hab if you just lay on it. I don't know why they're being so stingy with this thing. As it's now given uh, a regular militia um, a little bit of time to push in from their second to last point. Wish me luck. Um, well, actually, this is their last card. point. Wow, last going flag card. already. Akeem Central is the final one, and you have squad four pushing way out east. And they're going to try to just focus, probably set it. Yeah, you can see squad four right in this tree line. I actually really don't like this position. Uh, if you set up a fob here, you're going to have to push across open ground. This is a lot of open ground, actually. Right, and then you have good defensive away. areas within the farm itself right, or the, it, the type of buildings. And then you have a couple yeah, MSRs. Yeah, so you have a lot of ways that infantry can just get stuck in. Honestly, it might be a little bit better. We're going to take a look out east. Right, we're gonna do some really might be a little bit. Oh, here we go. Yep, they swapped it. This is much better. You only have you can flank around and push into the town. Uh, you got plenty of cover and concealment. And your hab is not going to be uh, almost like a black hole for infantry. And hell, you once you get a chance, we'll get a station up there. Hold on a second. Oh, we may as well just get the rep station right on Akeem. Come on, don't rage. I think he's a he is a hat. And hold on a second. Dishkateki just chilling there. Absolutely rolls over the entire squad. Unbelievable! What a huge play. This this armored Dishka has just been holding, and this is what patience, or this is why patience pays yeah, off. Yeah. ETR destroyed. This is why you need to defend. Oh, what a huge play as well, Bobby Schmurt. Oh, are they gonna be able to save it? Bobby Schmurda knocks out Rad, and so Squad Four. That's actually the squad leader as well. He might be able to pick them up. They're checking to make sure there's no other infantry. But yeah, they're going to be able to rally up. And Command is coming up with a backup Lodgy. They're going to be able to save it. Unbelievable play by the squad leader. You can see his health. That that orange bar means he's, what, 15, 20% health left. And I was, I was praising, uh, I'm not sure, squad 10, I guess. Hold on a second here. This is a hugely aggressive play as the Marines are trying to hot drop right into the village. And there you go, landing right next to infantry. And they're just unloading full autos. You got RPGs, everything into the side. And there you go. This is going to be one lucky helicopter if they are able to get out. Oh my goodness, Marines. Absolutely deleted. Talk about a hot drop. <laughs> oh my goodness. Two, if you're able to land east side and get this fucking what an unbelievable so play. Techies down by the players. last few infantry yeah, that are left them. defending this right now. You can see burning orph Oh Jesus. Alright, okay. That's all right. Syrian Hercules, Psycho 2K Skeleton, Shady Goldfish. That is a double infantry squad wipe now for uh, a regular militia. So I'm not quite sure if they're able to. Oh, this is a really good rally. This is a really good fob. Uh, I love the radio position that is way out. 
You also have the Lodgy tucked away. Really, yeah, really nice kind of distraction, I guess. Um, but you're going to have to get a Lodgy, sure. or yeah, honestly, true. if they're paying attention, I, this AAV, job, although they, they, this Lodgy, the armored one, can't drop any type of radio. It doesn't have that capability. It's not a logistics vehicle. It does carry ammo and build. So Commander of War and Apple Senpai, I'm hoping they move over to the... I've just seen a BMP, actually. Four, have you guys oh, there it goes. BMP, Oreo Pancakes, Rebel T. Starts taking out the infantry. That, AAV uh, is this, extremely lucky. That ammo crate's right behind that rock there. North of radio tower, taking it down right now. There you see BMP, they can swap to the 50 cal and actually nail this AAVP. is a chonker, has plenty of health, but I'm not sure they see it just yet. <laughs> yeah, you gotta type constantly. AVP just yeah, BMP barely misses. Five, can you cover that roadway with smoke? Just or nine, that's nine, AVP five, is kind of playing with fire right now. Can we get an accurate mark on that BMP? Get a BMP one right on the road here. I'm trying to, to see what other squad, squad eight is, is still guy. repairing from earlier. This hat kit, hat kit Paul. Um, he's gonna try to do something crazy, but probably not gonna happen here. No. As BMP is now going to push. BMP one, big chungus in Delta we York. DMP pushes right through, and he's extremely lucky. Looks like the Carl Gustav just barely misses. And AAV, oh, really good smoke. So pushes, closes the gap, then puts a little defensive smoke in between. Oh, it flips a Yui. I like that play. This is some aggressive BMP1 play, and the yeah, AAV is right you through the trees. Off, you can see the smoke AAV. moving left to right a little bit now, sending you a screen. BMP, not sure if he's dialing in just yet, but if he swaps to the 50, the AAV, you can actually pin right through the BMP armor, doesn't need to. And he is tracked, oh, not tracked, very lucky not to get tracked, hit that side right above the, the actual skirt here. And that is a huge, huge hit. You can see a little uh, engine sparks coming out and another AT smacks into the front and he, they need to put out that fire now. One of my guys named Herbals in the middle of nowhere. And that is it. Marines just picking up and picking off some huge vehicle plays. Enemy Lodgy taken down on this eastern half. And I, I don't think they're even going to get to those to, to, to fight over this objective here. I think Marines are going to just smother for regular militia. And we only got 78 tickets left for militia with 319. I, I'm not saying it's impossible. I've seen some crazy things happen in squad. I am saying that it is extremely unlikely uh, unlikely Do we have a heli that can drop talking like my daughter right now station. it's extremely Great. unlikely based on the way irregular okay. militia is played that they are going to be able to pull this one off because uh marines right out the gate have just been fantastic we're going to flip around to our abrams uh, way down south here real quick Grab on the road. They're mining all the fucking roads. because the spg is actually right here you see ralph frags ooh AA manages to take out. Oh, that's a fantastic play. Gas station just north of it. We've got a good push on our team. They were able to hold on a second. I think they should be right about here. Got a long way to go. Uh, but the Humvees are. They just might be able to run right into this AA truck. But AA truck positioned really well because this is the route that the helicopter is going to want to roll roll into, and just. Knocks out the helicopter and his return trip. X, Gia, and Brr. You got the fleet of Humvees just to the south of them. That's a huge loss because you got a long route to go if you are a Marine Lodgy man right now.
But, oh, SPG Techie does get taken out. Looks like Durbles was trying to take him out first. And Tank coming to mop it up. Might lose another few tickets here. 66 tickets for a regular Militia. 303. I don't think it has a single command strike been used on either side. I don't think so. That's actually impressive. Uh, let's take a look at Akeem Central. Looks like this will be the final battle here. Most likely at the rate that a regular militia has been losing their tickets. Oh, we have the grad way out in the distance too. Uh, way. Not sure if you can see him here. Way up on a hill. Uh, trying to get just far enough away to be able to hit the objective. And the grad, I, I think there can be a nice defense at least. But based on the tickets, I mean, yeah, you want to defend. You, you want to put up your, your best effort. You don't want to lose. I think there's a... Oh, no, that's a tree. Can we find the grad? Over to our right. Then we'll just hit a mine as I'm looking at the map. And then someone's going to say, Moy, why are you keep looking at the map? Why are we seeing the action? Four, I'm going to be calling an artillery strike <laughs> down. Any, or attack house coming online at M4 right now. All right. Gotcha. Artillery strike is now going to go down. And so after an entire game of no command assets at 54 tickets in the last objective, you are now going to get the first yeah, asset yeah, and man. it should be a devastating up. one. Three, get ready to fucking roll up here, buddy. Uh, and the grad up. manages to hit the only Marine out there. Wet sticky bandit. Yeah, I, I think he died to the earlier one, right? Wet sticky bandit. It's absolutely clobbered by the grad. And the grad needs to push out a bit yeah. further. Focus right where this red smoke is if they really want to do some damage. You can see uh, their UAV right above us. This is the Marine UAV. And they're trying to call in an accurate strike as more grads. Oh, the grad is just a little too off. He's a little too west. You need to push that just a bit more east and you're going to get a whole bunch of infantry kills. As kind of focus, haven't called in the artillery strike just yet. As grads start to land, check that. That is a fucking hab. All right, I found their hab. I'm gonna go make some friends. Sparky looking like he's dialing in. We're out of grenades off the AAV. We're just gonna be working off the top of hill. Marines trying to push through. And they're under grad attack. You can see this is danger close for the yeah, irregular militia forces. Attack markers accurate. Already's being caught oh, grenade. This speed. might be a great and grenade. Push that enemy have as soon as it gets uh, take out, a little too far. Try to trade a couple of shots laying down prone. Oh, pushes out to his pistol. Another grenade. It throws it right at the Marine. Bounces off his leg. And there you go. Finally goes full auto as grads are landing all around them. This is just some grinding out infantry gameplay here. As grads continue to dial it in. And we are on board with Flip here. Golden. Well, as we... As we call out Flip, he dies. Chris, the commentator, already, already, Golden as well, trying to push up. Uh, Bobby Schmurda manages to knock him out, and here we go. Artillery on the on the point. And that is what you like to see if you're Marine Corps infantry right now. Absolutely devastating command strike. Finally. And you can see, oh my goodness. So much infantry caught up yeah, out in the middle of it. Unbelievable. The bodies are just piling up. Militia caught with their pants down on this one. Trying to send it back with some grad strikes of their own. And that is going to be that. Ten tickets left. And that artillery strike is going to just mop it up. Rad 087 off to our right with that, uh, that AA truck, it looks like. But you are not going to have much else to do if you're militia. And they've lost the hab. So it's 
So you can see it's on stakes. You see the little logs, right? We're odd champ. He's trying to dig it back up, give this team a chance, but four tickets as you're going to have just too many infantry now bleeding out. Bobby Schmurda. Getting wrecked by the grad as well. And 278 tickets to four tickets. Yeah, that's why it's GG's. Two tickets left and Marines with an incredibly decisive victory over Militia. We saw it from the get-go. Come on, uh, command comms were just tight. They had plenty of uh, squad leaders willing to communicate, work with each other, and that's how you do it. 264 tickets to zero. Marines with a fantastic team win there. 170 kills for the Marines, 113 for IMF, 121 deaths, 177, 200, or sorry, 65 revives to 38. G, freaking Gs.